Praise the Lord. Welcome to Touch of Healing. This is a program specially designed to bring God's word in a few minutes and pray the prayer of faith. You know, many people are going through tough times and the Holy Spirit has said to me, bring God's word in a short time and pray the prayer of faith because the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. Now, you could be going through tough times in your health, tough times in your relationships, tough times in your family, maybe tough times in your ministry. Uh, the message is going to be short but quick and I think it's going to be powerful to help you develop faith so that as we pray together that which had come against you, you can overcome by the word of God, by the faith of God and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Today I'm talking about wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord. You know many times many people want to get miracles and miracles are good. The Bible tells us about many miracles in the scriptures. However, not every supernatural intervention is a quick miracle. Sometimes it takes you waiting a little while to get the full result. It doesn't mean that God is holding on saying, wait, I'm not going to do it now until you've gone through tough time. No, oftentimes the waiting on the Lord allows us to build our strength so that we can overcome. Because the challenge we face is really not a challenge that is a challenge to God, but it's a challenge to us. So if you're faced with sickness, disease, even maybe financial challenge, I know many people just want God to come in and just change the situation, but oftentimes what God does is that He strengthens us with the ability to overcome. He gives us power to cast out devils and heal the sick. He gives us power to overcome the devil, to overcome the challenges. So He empowers us so that we can win in every situation that we are faced with. And sometimes for us to get that ability to win, to overcome, we just have to spend some time to, to listen to the Word of God, to pray in the Spirit, to build ourselves up, to strengthen ourselves such that we can overcome every plan, every challenge, everything the devil throws at us. So today I'm going to be reading Isaiah chapter number 40, and I'm just going to read the last verse, verse 31. Isaiah 40, verse 31. He said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Again, it says they that wait upon the Lord. And here waiting doesn't mean that you're not doing anything. You're just waiting for God to do something. The word wait here is actually similar to what uh, a waiter does in a the restaurant. They're listening to you, they're waiting for your instructions. If you need to you know, order what you want, you call them and you tell them what you need and they go get it for you. And then after you are, they've gotten it to you, they ask you, is there anything else? Do you want dessert? Do you want drinks? And so the Bible is saying here, the Christian position should be like a waiter, waiting on the Lord. What, Lord, what do you want me to do? And one way to wait on the Lord is to spend time to study the Word of God. Even if you're going through a situation that looks like an emergency, maybe you're going through a tough time in your finances, maybe it looks like your house is going to be repossessed, or your car is going to be repossessed, or you're losing your business. I know sometimes we want God to intervene now, we need a miracle right now. But sometimes, even in the midst of what looks like an emergency situation, you need to take some time and listen to the Word of God, listen to God, ask God, what do you want me to do? What's the way out of it? And sometimes you may meet hearing a message, listening to a message, or going to church and just sitting down, hearing what God has to say to you that, that week. And as you're listening, the Word of God will impact to you wisdom, direction, instruction, what to do. And if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, that may mean praying in tongues. Maybe spend a whole day praying in tongues. And depending on what the situation is, you may even have to spend more than one day just waiting on the Lord, praying and listening, listening to have direction on the inside. Re listen, the best way to come out of every situation is to know what God wants you to do and you do exactly what God wants you to do. That is the wisdom of God. And so many times people go through tough times because they're just going in the dark. They don't know what to do. They're doing everything everybody else says. But the last thing they are, they are doing is listening to God, to know what God will have them do. So even if you're going through sickness and disease, there's a way God wants you to recover. There's a way out of it. There's a, there's a godly way to come out. It may be going through the medical process. It may be refusing the medical process entirely and depending on the different process. But how do you know what God will want you to do? 
you have to spend time to wait on the Lord. So my message today is that don't be in a hurry, don't be in a rush. You may be in an emergency situation. I know you may not have so much time, but the time you have, listen to the Holy Spirit. Pray in tongues if you have the Holy Spirit. Read your Bible, read a verse or two of Scripture and ask the Holy Ghost, ask God, what do you want me to do? And if God sends you a minister, sends you a leader, sends you somebody you respect spiritually, listen to them and they listen to your heart and determine what direction with what God wants you to do. There are times God would say, all right, I know your, where your faith is, take the medication. There are times he may say, don't take the medication. There are times he may say, you know what, go for that surgery, you will get healed. There are times you say, this is not a time for surgery. Whatever it is that the Holy Spirit is asking you to do and you are sure it's God, that's what you do. Because the answer is in the direction of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to be praying for you right now. Like I said, most miracles can happen instantly, just as you join your faith to pray. But sometimes it takes the instructions of God to know what you ought to do to get the results. And if you follow God's instruction, you are sure to get God's results all the time. So if you're watching this, just stretch your hands towards the screen. No matter what you're going through, God has a solution to it. God has an answer to all the problems. And if you will hear the voice of God, then you can come out victorious when you act upon it. I'm going to be praying that God will open your eyes to see what he wants you to do. And I'm going to be coming against the devil that comes to kill, to steal and destroy. And I believe that as we pray together, the result, the miracle you have been expecting will come true in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. You said, they that wait upon you shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not fail. So I thank you that everyone hearing the sound of my voice, that the spirit of patience, the spirit of wisdom will come upon them to hear your voice, to know what they ought to do by your spirit. They will not walk by the hearing of the ear. They will not walk by human advice only, but they will be led by your spirit so that they can get the result that you have planned. We know your will towards us is that we prosper and be in health, even our soul prospers. We know sickness is not your will, disease is not your will, failure is not your will, poverty is not your will, broken marriages is not your will. So I ask that you give instruction, direction, and they hear your voice, your direction on what to do to come out of that negative situation in the name of Jesus. Now Satan, I come against you. You spirit of the devil that comes to kill, steal, and destroy, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Take your hand off their mind. Take your hand off their body. Take your hand off their finances. Take your hand off their marriages. Take your hand off their health in Jesus' name. You watching, I declare you healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I declare the spirit of wisdom taking hold of your heart and directing you in the way that you should go. I declare you knowing what to do and having the ability to do it in jesus name i say victory is yours receive it now in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah glory to god i can already see you winning in that situation that which was negative that looked impossible is turned around because the spirit of wisdom is guiding you onto the victory in jesus name my name is daniel rabo i'd like to hear from you uh, write us, text us, you know, send us an email, share your testimony with us. And if you have prayer requests, share it with us as well. We want to know what God is doing and has done in your life through this program or through any other program. And don't forget also to like, subscribe and share to this program so that somebody else will be blessed by the wisdom of God. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in another edition of Touch of Healing. And to them, stay blessed. Remember, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength.